The second poem I'm reading tonight is the tragic morality tale of Mary Had an Evil Lamb. <clears throat> Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was black as night. Its eyes were red as lava pits that glowed a hellish light. It had two evil bat-like wings and horns upon its head. It followed Mary, day and night, the sleepless, walking dead. She broke the rules and brought to school this demon lamb from hell. It ate her class and teachers too, which broke the rules as well. But why is Mary even with this lamb as black as pitch? Is young Mary a Satanist? A psychopath? A witch? And where's the lamb we know and love? The one as white as snow? Well, listen up for this sad tale starts many moons ago. Mary once had a little lamb whose fleece was pure and white. But this lamb had an evil twin, whose fleece was black as night. One day, when Mary and her lamb were peacefully asleep, this evil twin came silently and ate its brother's sheep. And from that day forth, the lamb of night replaced the lamb of snow, and everywhere Mary went, this evil lamb would go. But why did Mary do nothing? Was she not good and kind? The sad truth is, she never knew. Mary, my friends, was blind. And so for years, her ignorance allowed this evil beast to follow her and meet her friends and maim and kill and feast. Even when it stopped saying ba and it started moaning brains. Sweet Mary, in her innocence, she never once complains. Until one tragic, fateful day, this lamb as black as hell, to satisfy its need for flesh, ate poor Mary as well. So, learn the moral of this tale. Avoid this blood and gore. If you're blind and you need a pet, stick with a Labrador. Cool, we're done. Turn the camera off. Yeah, no, the button, the button just there. No, no, no the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one there. Thanks.